Listen, O dearly beloved. I am the reality of the world, the centre of the circumference. I am the parts and the whole. I am the will established between heaven and earth. I have created perception in you only in order to be the object of my perception. If then you perceive me, you perceive yourself. But you cannot perceive me through yourself. It is through my eyes that you see me and see yourself. Through your eyes you cannot see me. Dearly beloved, I have called you so often and you have not heard me. I have shown myself to you so often, and you have not seen me. I have made myself fragrance so often, and you have not smelled me. savorous food, and you have not tasted me. Why can you not reach me through the object you touch, or breathe me through sweet perfumes? Why do you not see me? Why do you not hear me? I am beauty, I am grace, love me, love me alone. Love yourself in me in me alone. Attach yourself to me. No one is more inward than I. Others love you for their own sakes. I love you for yourself. And you, you flee from me.
Dearly beloved, you cannot treat me fairly. For if you approach me, it is because I have approached you. I am nearer to you than yourself, than your soul, than your breath. Who among creatures would treat you as I do? I am jealous of you over you. I want you to belong to no other, not even to yourself. Be mine, be for me, as you are in me, though you are not even aware of it. Dearly beloved, let us go toward union. And if we find the road that leads to separation, we will destroy separation. Let us go hand in hand. Let us enter the presence of truth. Let it be our judge and imprint its seal upon our union forever. I believe in the religion of love. Whatever direction its caravans may take. For love is my religion and my faith. Beware of confining yourself to a particular belief and denying all else. 
for much good would elude you. Indeed, the knowledge of reality would elude you. Be in yourself a matter for all forms of belief. For God is too vast and tremendous to be restricted to one belief rather than another. There was a time when I blamed my companion if his religion did not resemble mine. Now, however, my heart accepts every form. Love alone is my religion. God sleeps in the rock, dreams in the plant, stirs in the animal, and awakens in humans. The ignorant one does not see their ignorance as they bask in its darkness. Nor does the knowledgeable one see their own knowledge, for they bask in its light. If you find it complicated to answer someone's question, do not answer it, for their container is already full and does not have room for the answer. Whoever builds their faith exclusively on demonstrative proofs and deductive arguments builds a faith on which it is impossible to rely, for they are affected by the negativities of constant objections. Certainty does not derive from the evidence of the mind but pours out from the depths of the heart. How can the heart travel to God? when it is chained by its desires.
It is that which is revealed in every face, sought in every sign, gazed upon by every eye, worshipped in every object of worship, and pursued in the unseen and the visible. Not a single one of God's creatures can fail to find it in its primordial and original nature. When you know yourself, your I-ness vanishes and you know that you and Allah are one and the same. <laughs> 